Hello everyone, this is uh, GSOC Jenkins Docker Base Quick Start Weekly Meeting. We are on the 31st, 31st, I guess we should say, of July 2023. Uh, today we have Jean-Marc Ashutosh and Bear Viento. So last week was a pretty busy week, I would say. Uh, there were a few leftover from the week before, you know, in the PRs and work items, but most of them got solved this week. And last week program was difficult. Also, lots of things I had uh, scheduled, planned, or hoped <laughs> that they would get done. And this week, there are also quite a few things uh, that have to be done. But first of all, I want to uh, congratulate everyone in the team because like last week was an important milestone. We finally got rid of the bash file. So now our work should um, be working for Windows, Linux, Mac, and maybe some other OS. As long as you've got Docker and Docker Compose, well, that should work. And it has been demonstrated on last week's Docs Office Hours Asia. Um, and after a, a little tweak from Mark Waite, it worked beautifully. So congrats for all the work. Um, the work of all the previous weeks led us to this milestone. And I'm really happy. This is showing now that we are on the right track and doing good things. And I'm proud of us all. Now, uh, let's see, I hope you can see my screen. Uh, let's see rapidly what we can check uh, for last week's work. So the reverse proxy issue, uh, we'll see later on, but it's done, more or less. The GitHub action and experiment, you've done more than that, Ashutosh, uh, because we have something that works, that starts Jenkins, that waits until it gets uh, stabilized, you know, started for real, then uh, listen, to the job uh, building and waiting until it's done and then shutting everything down. It works, it's beautiful. Now, we haven't started yet the com uh, discussion on community Jenkins IO, but no hurry about that. The Node.js and React app with NPM works. There is still some work to do around the documentation, but that's okay. Uh, the um, push the images to the hub is not finalized yet because I'd like some tweaks. We'll talk about that in a few minutes. The get rid of the mandatory bash files. Yes, <laughs> this one is done. It's over. You, Come. I'm happy about that. Hello, Jamar. Yeah, I just wanted to say congratulations. I, I didn't want to interrupt the flow, but I was making gesture. Oh, in, couldn't see in... you as you were making no well, noise. <laughs> No, no, and uh, uh, Ashutosh had a lot of autonomous contributions uh, in that. So just want to emphasize that. Go yes, ahead, uh, Bruno. We are progressing on that area too, and that's really important. We wanted you, Ashutosh, to progress in autonomy. And frankly, last week and the week before, uh, I'm happy with the outcome, really. Uh, thank you and congrats for that. Okay. Now, uh, we still have some work about pipelines, uh, about how to automate the fork clone part of the tutorial. We see that, but it's just for the testing part. Uh, this week, we should be working also on the um, update of the plugin list. That's important so that end users don't see lots of things to do before even trying their tutorials, you know. So a clean, working, up-to-date Jenkins instance. Then, uh, if time permits, we should uh, use the built images from this week and get rid of the Docker Compose build, at least for the end user, not for the test, which is at later on. Um, we have some tweaks to do about the GitHub action because for uh, the time being, I don't think we are testing the real tutorial job. We are just, yes, using the simple job that yes. you created. That's cool. But that may be not enough. We'll see that later on. Um, I should have wanted to say something. Go ahead. Sorry. No, I, no, I was just agreeing with you. Okay, like agreeing. Okay. <laughs> uh, anyway, anyway. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about JCASC and the proxy warning configuration later on. Uh, 
we made a lot of tests. I made a few uh, experiments and Damien tried to help me. We'll see that. And in the end, uh, we'll see if we can use Gitpod tools to configure JKASC. We already talked about the box office hours once more. Congrats, well done. Uh, I was smiling just by myself alone in my office when I was looking at the replay of the video on YouTube. Uh, that was cool. That was a good thing to see. Um, last week, sorry, I may, no, not I may, I did not wait for your approval for a few pull requests of mine uh, because I was kind of a hurry and it was not changing the end product. I added some quality insurance assurance uh, products, I would say, in the repo, um, Adolint for Docker, uh, Codacy for the shell files, uh, there's also something for the Markdown files, so don't be afraid, there are 975, I think, security alerts on the repo, but uh, more than 700 of them are related to the Markdown because on a lot of lines, we are not respecting the 80 characters per line rule. Mm. So no worry, uh, that's okay. And it was just to give some more quality to the code. And just in case anyone wanted to contribute to the repo or after GSOC, uh, there are lots of things that could be good first issues, you know, some things that are <laughs> quite simple to fix. But yes, I didn't wait for your approval before merging into the repo of those tools. Bad mentor. Um, next, about the Node tutorial. So it's working, but um, the official documentation says that we should click on localhost on the port 3000, of course, because we're supposed to run that on our machine, but that does not work for Gitpod. Of course, localhost the, on the port 3000 doesn't work at all so we'll have to put a warning in the documentation i think you're almost done with that ashutosh yes i've updated the jenkins file to include the link for the report separately and maybe we would have to change also the sample repo in a way or another so that it works uh, with gitpod we'll see that okay but updating the documentation is really important for that Mm -hmm. Now, lots of pull requests were closed uh, because they were finished last week. Congrats for all, all the work. I'm really happy with that. So the documentation has been updated because we are not using the bash files anymore. We also yes. have updated uh, the GitHub actions in order to uh, not use the Jenkins init shell file you were using before, but just the Docker Compose up and down. Uh, the set chat file and offline convention, that's something that Mark Waite brought to the repo after your demo, because um, he experienced the same issue I had on Windows, which is a bash file with a control M, I think, at the end of the line. So bash couldn't be found, and so the Docker image couldn't be built. So he just added that to the repo. And of course, whenever you have already cloned the repo, it's too late. Uh, you have to clone it in another place and we start from scratch. But for the end users, I will uh, experiment that later on. They won't have any problem with that. So it does work thanks to that on Mac, Linux and Windows. I say Mac, but Jean-Marc, uh, did you try the last uh, main branch on a Mac recently? I need to confess that because of the pileup of work uh, when I return from holiday, I'm still catching up. And I'm, I apologize, I'm late in reviewing Ashutosh's work. No, no, that's okay. Sorry. I was, sorry that. okay. I was not trying to put blame on, on you, <laughs> not, uh, all, not pointing fingers uh, or whatever. It was just a honest <laughs> and uh, naive uh, question. Sorry about that. So it's supposed to work under Mac OS. Uh, Berviento, I think you're using Linux, or are you using a Mac OS? Uh, oh, I don't have Mac OS, but uh, I use Windows. Pop OS right now. Pop OS. Top Pop OS. OS. Yeah, Pop OS. 
Okay, so it's a Linux flavor of which kind of distro? Uh, I think uh, derived from Ubuntu. Oh, okay. <clears throat> it's okay. I thought it was Debian. Okay, it's Ubuntu. Got it. Mm. Uh, I think we can use GitHub Action uh, with macOS. I think so. Yes. Isn't isn't there a price with that? I don't know. Yeah, I think there is option macOS in GitHub Action. Okay. I, I, mean, I was also experimenting with uh, using GitHub Actions on Windows too, uh, but they didn't have uh, Docker Compose installed uh, on default. So, mm. Oh, so you uh, mean that you can have a Windows machine or a macOS machine in the cloud from GitHub for free to do your tests? I'm not sure if it's free because I didn't uh -huh. try it. I was, I was thinking, but Docker Compose is not... Uh, available okay. on windows for default because i thought that you only could use mac os or windows with a local runner you know on your own machine so i was wrong i guess good to know no i could be i could be wrong i haven't tested it yet i was just thinking but it turns out it doesn't have docker compose and it's hard to install docker compose because it uses a docker desktop then we have to sign in in windows oh okay Thank you. Um, next, so I already told you about the security updates I made last week. No, I told you about the tools uh, that could help us to get some security alerts. But I also made uh, some security updates. By security updates, I mean that last week we had a Jenkins LTS uh, security advisory. So we were at version 2.401.2 and last week, uh, the 2.401.3 got released because of security vulnerabilities. So I made a pull request to update that. And some of the plugins that we had also had some um, security issues. So I updated them at the same time. After that, we also had uh, installed GH in Gitpod because for our tests, sometimes we need to have GH in the console. And I was fed up with reinstalling on each and every workspace. So it's now part of Gitpod. And of course, uh, to install GH in Gitpod, I chose to have a custom Docker file uh, for Gitpod. So we now have a specific image for Gitpod with GH inside. Uh, Ashrash, you also added GitHub Action for Python and Node.js tutorial, because up to now we only had the Maven and Py. Maven, and that's all. Or Maven and just the, four, the first example. Am I right? I didn't get it. Uh, you paused for a second. Can you repeat it? Sorry. Uh, a few weeks uh, earlier, you were testing uh, with GitHub Action for just the simplest example you had. And then for Maven, you know, with GitHub Action starting um, the Jenkins instance, starting uh, the agent and then testing a simple job. Yes. And okay. now you added that for the images that you created for Python and Node.js. And yes. of course, we'll have to find a way to test not only the simple job, but also the job which is linked to the tutorial somehow. Yes. Um, I think I closed the remove proxy rolling because uh, we can't do anything, in fact, uh, regarding Gitpod not doing the right thing with... Um... Jean-Marc, you made a lot of experiments. I made quite yeah. a lot too. Uh, Damien made some others. And the conclusion is there is something like a magic box inside Gitpod. It's doing something with the headers and something that Jenkins can't understand. So we are blocked uh, we can't do anything for the time being regarding that so our proposal is just to remove um, the monitoring for the reverse proxy problem for gitpod and only for gitpod because it's important to keep it for local for... host yeah yes yes i saw the that was... issue yeah. i i that was also my conclusion yeah yes yeah it, Ooh, it's 
I wouldn't okay, exclude so uh, Gitpod because it's it's a good solution. Uh, yes. for people that don't have the, the resources. And so let's just navigate around it. Yep, fine with me. I don't know yet how we will uh, find when we are using Git, but I guess with some uh, workspace variables or something like that. So we have to find the right moment uh, to detect that we're using good Git pod and adding the monitor before uh, launching Jenkins. I think this can be done. You'll find out. So as for the open PRs just before uh, this meeting, I don't know if you have opened any other at the beginning of the meeting, Ashutosh. I saw the node tutorial URL on Gitpod. Um, so that's because it's displaying local uh, on the yes, board 3000. So. Yeah. So uh, it's just about documentation because we can't do anything on the official uh, tutorial repo for the time being. We also have the multi-branch pipeline because pipelines, simple pipelines are somehow a thing of the past. It's there, it's legacy, but it's not the way we would like people to start with Jenkins anymore. So, yeah, I saw that you with... have... Yeah, go ahead, Jean-Marc. Uh, can, can you say that statement again? <laughs> so, it was a little bold. Pipelines. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Script scripted pipelines compared to declarative is that what you meant oh go no, ahead no simple pipeline with just run branch and i would like to get rid of that um and damien and mark also told me that it's cool to have pipelines but it's not the way we're supposed to work these days lots of projects use lots of branches prs and so on and the beauty of the multi-branch pipeline is that automatically as soon as you add a branch as soon as you've got a pr okay, there's something got building you. on your website so right okay got you yeah, yeah yeah yeah. i'm fully with that yeah oh cool because i think that was pretty uh much a, a bold <laughs> no, no, sentence, no 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 you know? okay <laughs> i'm relieved thank you jean -Marc. No, no, but I, 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 th I thought I heard something else. So there oh. I was a little bit, uh, oops. But here, that statement, uh, and, and we need to, like pushing for upgrades, uh, yeah. we need to review our way of teaching people the best way to use the product. And so let's be bold. Thank Already you. too many people doing scripted pipelines out there. Yeah, and this is that sometimes, uh, not sometimes, often, uh, in the community Jenkins, I, you know, some post people say, oh, I've done that and that and that, and my engineers have been scripting like crazy, and now I'm stuck. Uh, what should I do? <laughs> <laughs> well, in the first place, you should maybe not have used scripted pipelines. Anyhow. Uh, work items. Last week we had 17. We are down to 14 uh, today. And so there are still a few ones from last week, but they are almost done. So there is a Gitpod reverse proxy setup is broken, but it's okay. We know it. We accept it's failing. Fine with us. We'll find maybe a workaround one of these days or not at all, and that's okay. Then we have the push the images to Docker Hub. This one is already working, more or less, but uh, yes. there is something that got me puzzled. You know, the, the tag of your image was that big. And it's fine, by the way. I hadn't understood that it was because it was prefixed by the name of your branch. But I asked for um, a change, um, which was get rid of the prefix, at least when you are on the main branch. Yes. So do you see how to get this done? I have, uh, I have uh, come, uh, pushed a comment, but but you also suggested something else, which I'll be oh, cool. work, working on after this. OK, I have a look at that. Thank you, Bervento. Uh, what else do we have? Forget about pipeline. We already told about that. Uh, current Node.js tutorials can deal with Gitpod. It was about the port 3000. That's okay too. 
we have Docker Hub images. So this one will come after the first one, which is, I guess, let's use uh, in the Docker Compose, no more build, but just the definition of the images. No, okay, it's pixies, push the image to the Docker Hub. Okay, my bad. That's this is the one. Yeah, better than that. Uh, this one is of low priority, you know, find a way to automate the fork clone part of the tutorials. As I said in the introduction, it's based, um, it's for the testing part. You know, for the time being, we're just launching a simple job. Mm -hmm. And that's all. We'd like to launch a job for a real tutorial. But to do that, we have to clone locally and or fork. Uh, the existing sample tutorial. So we have to find a way to do it automatically. Just cloning the official one is not that good of an idea because there is nothing in the Jenkins file. So I guess we should clone something that already has all the steps for the tutorial. So um, the git checkout, the build, the um, uh, deliver and so on, you know? so. Mm -hmm. We'll find out something. I think it's not a very well-defined um, work item. We'll have to discuss, experiment, uh, comment, and so on. It's not something that's really straightforward. And I repeat, it's not high priority. Fine with you? Yes. The next one is keep the plugin list up to date when building the Docker image. This one also um we'll have to discuss i guess because i wrote when building the docker image because it made sense to me that before or while we are building the docker image we should maybe uh keep the plugins up to date but there may be other ways to do it you'll find some by yourself um one i had in mind was that maybe you should do that at another time like for example we could have a github action that does on a weekly or daily basis, uh, spins up a Jenkins instance and then tries to update the plugins. And then if ever it finds that there are plugins to be updated, then creates by itself a PR to update the main okay. branch. So maybe we don't have to do it while building the Docker image. It's not mandatory. And once again, maybe you should discuss that. It's just out of my mind. Uh, maybe it doesn't even make sense for you. Let's discuss that. Uh, yes, and the one which is linked to Docker push and build is do not build the images for the end user. Use pre-built images. I think it's been three weeks or so that I'm saying the same thing. Um, <laughs> as much as I'd like that anybody on any platform should be able to build uh, the tutorials. Um, the thing is, some people may face some issues because they are using a platform that we haven't tested. Mm. So we decided to shorten the list of the supported platform and just make it work for IMD64, so any PC, and R64, so ARM64 bits for the time being. Of course, I have some other ideas, but we'll see that later uh, during uh, the summer or maybe later on. We'll see. Anyhow, so for the time being, let's just make it work for PCs and ARM64 Max or ARM64, whatever. Um, next one, get the GitHub action to test the real job. So that's what I was asking earlier. So we are testing for the time being the simple job and we have to find a way to test the job which is linked to the tutorial. But once again, we have to discuss it's linked to other work items. So nothing is really clearly defined. So it, it takes more time than this week. That's okay. Uh, and for the two last one, I'm not so sure we'll do these ones because we now know that Gitpod doesn't really work. So we'll see. The last one is use Gitpod tools to configure Jcask. I think uh, I should click on that. So we should know better about that. But I think I was thinking of um, removing the, the monitor about the reverse proxy when using Gitpod. And we could do that maybe with um, the um, Gitpod tools. Setup yeah, tool. But, mm -hmm. Yeah. 
but I think uh, I'll do this one because uh, I, I'm not so sure right. it's useful that you uh, spend some time on, on this one. As we already know, it doesn't Just really work. It's not that important. Uh, what? Go ahead, John. In, in, well, I, I, I don't want to interfere into the project manage, management, and I know you want to have fun too. But... Uh, <laughs> uh, you know, we right, I, un ahead. unless we flip a coin to know is it Ashutosh or Bruno or you Bruno that does this oh uh, yes Ashutosh it's not uh, my um, my game and only my game if you want to address this one please do so I was just I don't want to, you to spend too much time on that but if you feel like you know something about that and want to even if you don't know anything you want to try it go ahead yeah. no problem with me just anyone is free to yeah, I, I don't have the, the global view, but uh, the most important thing is what do we want to deliver? What contributes to the objectives of the project is, is you, you will remember this. So focus, but on the other side, uh, uh, although we're working together, uh, we, we, don't, we, we may not take all the work from Ashutosh. He oh. needs also to learn. So this, the balance. Uh, Go ahead, Ashutosh. This issue uh, might be similar to the previous one I have done, so I think I can handle this one. Okay, now. cool. I, just my two cents there. I don't want to start a fight, but uh, <laughs> especially as these are interesting problems. Yes, but you're right. I, like sometimes I, uh, I, I tend to say, "This is mine. It's mine. It's mine. Only mine." Don't touch, but no, not this time. <laughs> it's not my I, baby. You can go on. I don't know. So just for everybody, we need to have a clear view where we heading, what needs to be done for that date. And that's how we do decisions, like in a stand-up. Yeah. But here right. in this particular case, I'm interested that Atushosh there learns as much as possible and and we just yeah. enjoy watching him doing it. So Ashutosh, um, <laughs> did you have to create a Docker Hub account or did you add you already one before the GSOC project? No, uh, I added the already one. I didn't create any one. That's cool. Um, but you, okay, did you learn anything with GitHub Action? You know, uh, coordinating GitHub Action and Docker Hub, had you done that before? No, no, I, I, I hadn't done that before. That was new to me. Okay, but you did it uh, beautifully. It works. That's cool. Um, what was that thing? I, I, I had a, a, another issue. Uh, oh, really? That uh, when uh, when we use Docker Compose down it, uh, sometimes say that uh, the resources are still in use. Yep, I had the same problem. You're right, but I didn't take the time to open an issue. Uh, so how does it free that? Uh, what I think are still in use after the down. You're right. Yes, yes. When we try to turn them down, the uh, two uh, one uh, one is I think network is uh, one network and one container says that it's still in use. Yeah, mm. I've seen that. Not every time, but I've seen that. Does it mean mean that one is crashed? No, uh, it's, uh, I think it's uh, uh, the volume we have created for the sidekick, uh, sidekick container. That one keeps uh -huh. running because it's, in, it's used in multiple containers. OK. So, so, so maybe not... check that we close it correctly when it's done. I don't know. Yeah, I, so I, I, I... Go ahead. I haven't uh, looked it, looked into it in detail, but uh, uh, it doesn't work with just Docker Compose down slash slash volumes. Okay. Those two things are still running. So we need to work on, on that. Otherwise, we need to take the baseball bat out so that it shuts down. <laughs> but this is a little bit too down. bloody. <laughs> That's an idea. I like it. 
I, I had a baseball bat in the office when I had, a, and, and above it was ultimate debugging tool. Oh. But after a while, I removed it and brought it back home because I said one day somebody's going to use it just by uh, rage. So, yeah, that's too dangerous. For me, it was just a joke, but uh, bah, somebody would slam a, a, a monitor or something like that. Anyway, sorry to, to come with my stories. As long as he's not a colleague, you know. <laughs> well, yeah, <Ouch>. well. <clears throat> Anyhow, okay. Um, what I'd like at the end of the week is that we have uh, the Docker images pushed and used uh, inside the repo. That would be really cool. And what else? I think that's the main thing I would like to see. Uh, Jean-Marc Bevento, anything you would like to, I should to focus on this week? No, but I like the question. Because it's about focus. <laughs> so it's a great, it's a good question. I have no objection to uh, this week's focus. Cool. Bevento? Sorry, my internet machine. Unstable. So uh, the, the, what was the question, Bruno? Can you re, uh, restate it? I think uh, the question was, uh, are you OK with um, the points I just made about um, which subject this. should Ashutosh focus on this week? So I said, push, uh, build and push Docker images and use them in the workflow, get rid of the Docker build phase. So that was completely. Yeah, that's what I was insisting on. So I was asking, are you okay with that? Do you agree with me? Or is there anything you would like to see finished this week? Okay, I think I'm agree with you. So you agree with the, the proposition, right? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Ashutosh, oh. uh, is, <laughs> is it okay with you? Or are you afraid of <laughs> this week's milestone? <laughs> Okay, it's okay. You okay? <laughs> yes. We're cool. we're okay. And and you know what? You teach me something last week uh, about Docker Compose. I think I had never seen the use of um, Docker Compose Profile. profiles. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I, so I, thank you I for that. Just I just discovered them, and I was happy that it will work yeah. beautifully. Right? Ashutosh, so. you made my day with that. Yes. That was great. Thank you. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I had made a draft PR, you know, proposal and to solve the, the problem of getting rid of the uh, shell files. And frankly, it was way more complicated, not as pretty. Um, profiles made it more uh, beautiful or simpler. So that's, yeah, that's great. I'm happy with that. Um, okay. Is there anything you would like to add, Ashutosh? Would you have any impediments uh, or questions or is everything okay? Yeah, everything's okay. Cool. Uh, anything special at school this week that would change the schedule or are you as available as last week? I think this week might be a little busy, but it's not that much. It's, I would say it's normal. Uh, okay. Previous, don't... previous week was a little too free, but this week will be ah. normal. <laughs> yes, and don't forget John Mark's advice. Show your face to your teacher. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> I shouldn't. Cool. Okay. Uh, Bervianto, Jean Marc, anything before we wrap up the meeting? No, I need to catch up with the project. Project is moving well forward and I'm running behind to look at the PRs, what has been done and, and take ownership or of, of the issues and say so that I'm useful in helping uh, the, the project. So sorry about that. I'll, I'll try to make that this week, although I have a busy week. Yeah, of course. And sorry, I was also maybe too much pushy last week. Uh, so it's also my fault. Yeah, but we want to have results. This is normal and natural. Uh, okay, thank you for your um, understanding. <laughs> Bevianto. Oh, good, bro. 
all good okay. for you. Okay. Thank you, folks. Uh, so that's a wrap up. The video should be available from 24 to 48 hours. And see you later in the week. Don't you forget, we have um, Gitter Element. Uh, choose your tool of, uh, yeah, choose your weapon. Uh, we can discuss on that. There is also mail. And if ever you need some time to pair with someone, don't hesitate to ask. You never know. That could work. <laughs> okay. Fine. Okay. See you, folks, and have a good week. Okay. Bye bye. You that's all, week. folks. I think that's, <laughs> that's okay. well done. <laughs> Thanks, Robert. Bye. Bye. bye.